In this video, I'm going to reveal a really great puzzle book niche that I've come across that can generate anywhere from $500 to over $1,000 per month in royalties. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Caroline and I make videos to help you master your mindset and make money online so that you can build a life you love. If you do enjoy watching videos like this, please take a moment to subscribe. It is free, it takes two seconds, and it really does mean the world to me. And don't forget to click the bell so that you do get notified whenever I upload a new video just like this. Now today I'm not going to chit chat, I'm just gonna get straight into the video and reveal the niche that I came across this week that has the potential to make some really great income. And first of all, like always, I like to start my niche research in Book Bolt. So I usually use Book Bolt when I'm looking for a new niche, uh, a new idea to research when I don't really know what I'm looking for because it's a great place to get new ideas for books that you probably wouldn't have thought of otherwise. And at this point, I'm not actually really sure what I'm looking for, but let's take a look at puzzle books and see what's going on in that category at the moment. So I come down here to this cloud feature here where it basically just gives you the option to search for the top 100, 200, 300, etc. books or the best sellers in a category. There are other categories to choose from, but I haven't looked in the puzzle book niche for a while, so I'm going to look in puzzle books. I've dropped the BSR down to around 250,000 because I like to look at books that are actually selling regularly. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, it's the best seller rank, which just gives an indication of how many books are selling or how popular a book is. The lower the number, the more books that are selling. If you use Book Bolt, you can set this to whatever you want in this range, but the higher the BSRs that you are looking at, then the less sales that you have the potential to make. Don't be afraid of niches with lots of low BSRs because in my opinion, that just means there's a demand and people are buying there. So what are we seeing here? We're seeing 1000 puzzles word search. So that just looks like a pretty general word search puzzle book. That's a mixed puzzle book book of Sudoku, Sudoku, word search puzzles for kids, spring and summer. So this is where you'll start to get some ideas of some of those sub niches within a category. So if we looked at just word search in Amazon, here I've searched for word search for adults, you can see there is a huge amount of results there. So over 10,000 results for word search for adults. So if you are someone who does not even wanna go there and try and rank in those super competitive niches, this is where you can start to get ideas for some sub niches. So we have spring and summer, that's a subcategory. There's another spring word search word fill in puzzles. So there's different kind of puzzles, obviously that you can do. What's in this picture puzzle book? Large print, large print for seniors. There's a beach word search, dinosaurs, so for kids. Just a note guys, stay away from the this Hamilton Broadway and I saw another one up here, Grey's Anatomy. This is infringing on trademark and copyrights. So unfortunately this person is doing quite well with these books, but if you go down that road of using trademarks, copyright, things like that, of popular TV shows, if you don't have the rights to use them, it may work out for you for a little while, but at some point I imagine that someone might complain about it and the books will get pulled. It's a pretty risky thing to do. Like I say, you might make some sales for a little while, but I don't know about you, but I would rather have the type of business that is secure and that I'm not just expecting to wake up in the morning with a closed account and zero income. So it's pretty high risk to do stuff like that. I wouldn't suggest it's the best way to go about creating books. Just try to do something original that isn't copyrighted or trademarked. So some more puzzle books for seniors. We've got some in Spanish. Bible word search. So you can see how there is so many different little sub niches that you can investigate further and see if there is a potential to make money, make books that will sell. So when I'm using Book Bolt, I'll just scroll through 
and I'll just take notes of some of the sub niches that I want to investigate further. Like I say earlier, I did this search for word search for adults and it came up with a massive amount of results. Now the ones that come up that are some of the most popular are these Funster ones. Now I have done a video on this particular brand where I dove deep into their marketing strategy and how I think they possibly have gotten their books to the point that, that it is. This particular brand would be making an absolute killing with their puzzle books and they have lots. They have lots of puzzle books under their brand. I mean, look at that one there with the 973 BSR in books for a large print word search. Now, obviously it's very hard to rank in these very general high level niches and these books and this brand has been around for a while but it just shows the potential of what you can build up on this platform and what you can sort of plan to have within a few years. But as I'm scrolling through, something here has caught my eye and it's this particular one here. Now this has got the bestseller badge, Swear and Search. I've looked in the puzzle book niche before and I haven't seen this one before. So I'm really interested. And if you're new to low content book publishing or puzzle books, coloring books, swearing is super popular. People love stuff with swear words in it. So we'll take a look at this. So I'm gonna take a look inside this swear word word search book for adults and it's pretty cool. I like the graphics. I really like the cover. Very professional looking. How to solve word searches. And this one, all the look inside feature is taken up by the introduction of the book. I can't see any of the word searches, but there is a little image on the back of what they look like. So this particular book does word searches with words that are listed as well as word searches where you don't actually get told what the words are to make it a little bit harder. You kind of just have to try and find what words are in there without being told what to look for. So I've actually never seen that before myself. I do like puzzles, but I've never seen that before. So that's a cool feature. Now I love the description. I really like the formatting, how they've used little stars, our hours of hilarious fun, not your grandma's word search puzzles. So it's really good. I like this and it's got a nice little description of what you're going to find in the book, the bullet points, which I always like. And it also mentions that this is from the creator of some uh, other coloring books, which I imagine by the sounds of it are pretty popular on Amazon. Otherwise he wouldn't have mentioned them there. This book's only 80 pages in length, so it's not a massive book. I can't really imagine you can do too many word searches with swear words. I'm sure there's a limit to how many swear words there are out there. And it's a bit of an odd size. I'd probably just be making it as the common six by nine inch size word search. Or if you want to do large print, go up to the 8.5 by 11. And this book has a BSR of five, 1,676. So I'm going to have a look at the other books by this author, John T. So it seems like he has some very popular books all around swearing. So the coloring book with swear words, the word search, another coloring book, a journal, humping animals. And so all of these books on the first page look like they are really popular. And one thing I'm noticing as well is that he prices them really cheap. There are a lot of other brands doing coloring books and puzzle books that are doing just as well with higher prices. So that's quite interesting. He has a swear word, word search, and a crossword puzzle with swear words, both doing really well. I'm going to just do a quick Google search and see if anything comes up. I mean, John T is a pretty generic pen name, I would imagine. It's not the person's real name, but it'd be interesting to see if they have any kind of social media or website that they're, that they're using to promote their coloring books or build some kind of community, but it doesn't look like it. I'm just going to take a look inside one of the coloring books just to see if there's any mention of any kind of website, social media, anything. So there's nothing mentioned there of a website, but they are promoting another coloring book within this coloring book. Oh, here we go. Swearwordcoloringbook.com. So this is pretty cool. Top 10 Amazon bestseller over 500 K sold, sign up now to get notified about free coloring pages, new releases, coloring contests, giveaways, and more. Over 12,000 five-star reviews. 
They pulled some reviews in. This is cool. In early 2020, this website was banned on Pinterest with no good explanation why. At first I thought it was a mistake, so I applied to have my website reinstated. No such luck. Pinterest informed me the ban was permanent and again gave me no good reason to buy. No good reason why. You know why that is really cool? Is because people love stuff that have been <laughs> banned, discontinued, things it's like it seems as though it's something they can't get it is so risque maybe that pinterest banned it that i think is such a good piece of marketing to put in why this website got banned probably because the swear words were too rude or something like that and people would be like i want that because pinterest said it's too rude for pinterest i need to see what's in these coloring books so they've got free coloring pages some jokes some gifts free coloring pages they have an etsy store they sell their coloring books and coloring pages on Etsy as well. Another way to help boost some income. I mean, I can't imagine it would be as much as what they're making on Amazon for sure. But, you know, it takes a few minutes to put a listing up on Etsy and then it becomes passive. It's just sitting there waiting for people to buy, just like on Amazon. I bet these are Amazon affiliate links to products. So they've got some links to products on Amazon. So they're trying to get some affiliate income from this as well. So for free, if you sign up to the newsletter, you get 20 of John T's best coloring pages, 20 brand new coloring pages and 10 quarantine coloring pages. Oh, these ones you don't even have to sign up to the email list. These ones they're just giving away for free. No sign up required. So there's no links to any social media there, but it looks like they're definitely doing a good job of promoting their coloring books on their website and the coloring pages through Etsy. So something else I like to do is just do a search on Amazon for that particular sub niche keyword phrase to see the competition, see what else is out there and what is selling. So when we do a search for swear word search for adults, the results are much better. We're only getting a thousand results, over a thousand results, but under 2000 results. We've got another swear word search book here, swear word word search book here. <laughs> Another great VSR. That one's not swearing. There is another swearing word search book. Some higher VSRs here. But there's another one, Dirty Word Search, 33,544. So another one doing really well, a little bit higher, but a BSR of nearly 280,000. So there are a few books selling in this niche which is really great so let's head back over to this one that we started looking at originally the swear and search by john t so like i say for some reason they or he has priced this book really low personally i would price it a bit higher especially if i had that bestseller badge with a massive amount of reviews like that i don't quite understand the pricing strategy but maybe this person is not in it for the money maybe they just love making these books and a little bit of extra money is great maybe their strategy is price low to sell more but like i say i i personally think you could price higher and still make the same amount of sales so what we'll do let's go over and have a look at what the royalties are on this particular book so it's paperback black and white interior it had 80 pages selling for four dollars 99 and the royalty is not going to be much. 84 cents is what they're making on this book. So like I say, I really don't understand that pricing, but we'll work out how much he could be making from this particular book with that particular royalty. So the BSR currently, as I film this video, is 5,676. Using the TCK Publishing book sales calculator, we can work out a ballpark figure of what this particular book could be selling with that bestseller rank. Now, like I always like to mention, this is an accurate, nobody really ever knows how much books 
someone is selling except the person who owns the books but this helps just give us an idea of the possibility of what they could be making if it is selling around 594 books per month with an 84 cent royalty right now at that price this book is potentially making around 450 dollars per month so still nothing to sneeze at i still think that is a great income even with that really low royalty but if you price this book at 6.99 which personally i think is perfectly acceptable then this book would be making over one thousand dollars per month this is the type of niche where i would look at creating different puzzle books around swearing similar to the john t brand he has a brand around coloring books and puzzle books all with swearing but i would look at creating some different puzzle books around swearing with the goal of building each of them up to the 500 or even the 1000 dollar mark per month create four or five or even more of those type of puzzle books making $500 or $1,000 per month under a brand and that monthly income will build up to something really nice and substantial. So what do you think? Do you like this niche? If you do, let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video and would like me to make more videos like this, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and to make sure that you don't miss out on any more videos that I make like this, don't forget to subscribe.